Legend has it that John Whitmore was the first to notice waves at Jeffreys during the early 1960s from a vantage point along the R102. Whitmore shared his discovery with a group of surfing buddies. A couple of weeks later, while returning to Cape Town from Seal Point, Robin Solomon, Andy Spangler and Mike Taylor met up with Murphy Buckhorst, Trevor Espy and John Grendon at a filling station in Huonsdorp. It was whilst there that the six surf crazy individuals decided to visit J-Bay. Arriving in the area, the group parked along a stretch of gravel road, climbed through a fence and walked over the dunes. Moments later, they were confronted by the sight of one perfectly shaped wave after another, wheeling down from the distant point. With no prior knowledge of the area, the six surfers paddled out at a spot that would later become known as Impossibles. As the name suggests, Impossibles is a section of the wave renowned for its speed and hollowness. And this, together with the fact that surfboard design was of an inferior nature by today's standards, put paid to any thoughts that the group had of enjoying an extended session. Born in Cape Town, John Whitmore, seen here at Elon's Bay during the mid-1960s, was by all accounts an adventurous man with a devout passion for the sport. So much so that he is today accredited with the discovery of many surf breaks along South Africa's southern and west coast.